these don't sit on tables. They're very fragile and they will break. So, uh, any, I mean, uh, if you may like to thank Eddie Pinton for helping us get set up. He's uh, sort of the main uh, key to this whole thing. We have as your MC today, if you were at the first club picking contest, and remember Dr. Larry Kilgore won the first contest. He's going to be our MC today, and he'll tell you a little bit about what we're going to be doing. So if you'd like to, welcome uh, Dr. Larry Kilgore.
So again, we thank Tommy especially for coming out and being our guinea pig uh, quite early. Of course, he's been up since 4 o'clock playing practicing. So, uh, what you going to do next, Tommy? Yeah. Alright, coming up next is the Travis Medley from Tommy Flynn. It's a thrill for me 
a few years ago to meet uh, John Travis, and uh, I'm just tickled pink that he's here with us today. And if you haven't got to meet him, you ought to, because he's quite a fellow. And I'm going to ask him to stand and wave. John Travis. He's going to put the eye on. Okay, is our first contestant ready? Bob Lincoln's first round. Okay, again, uh, please be considerate of the guitar player and uh, know that he's uh, doing his best. And uh, uh, please uh, refrain from smoking and uh, taunting and so forth if you need to do that. Go back and go outside. There's also restrooms and refreshments back in the back. One other announcement, that we've got lots of chords and gizmos uh, st uh, strung around, uh, so uh, watch where you're going so that you don't trip and hurt yourself. Okay, we're ready for contestant number one. I assume the judges are ready. Let me make sure their sounds are all right. If we do it, yeah. Uh, he says a little bottle now. But number one, we'll be playing uh, Ghost Riders in the Sky, 16 Tons, and Steel Guitar Rack. Contestant number one.
Dukes. And uh, Talmadge uh, passed away a couple of years ago. And we all miss him, but uh, and a very special person to those of us who try to pick like Merle and pick uh, fingerstyle guitar is uh, Talmadge's son, Merle. Uh, Merle Dukes is with us today. Merle lives in the area and was very influential in uh, suggesting to Central City that they start this contest, the Home of the Legends uh, Thumb Picking Contest. And uh, this is the third year that we've had it, and it's been great. It's been great every year, and uh, we're going to get more and more pickers each year. And I'd like to recognize Merle, have him stand, and let's give him a special thanks for getting this started. Merle, here he is, right here. All right, uh, again, a reminder for those of you who want to chatter and talk, I, I don't mean to be rude, but I'm going to be rude because I want these guys to, to have every opportunity to do as good as they can. And if you're talking, it, it, it comes through up here and we can hear it. So please refrain from talking while they're playing. Uh, and you all see it going to do a sound check? Okay, contestant number two, judges. We'll be playing Cannonball Rag, I'll See You In My Dreams, and White Heat. Let's hear it for contestant number two.
little bit cooler in the back. But of course it's a lot hotter outside, so I guess we're lucky to be in here. We've got the fans going, so please bear with us. Uh, We're at Rodney. We have uh, with us uh, Grand Ole Opry star, uh, accompanied by his wife, uh, Ruth. Uh, later this morning, we're going to be real privileged to hear in person, uh, and it's going to be a treat, I promise you. Uh, Billy Grammer. And Billy is here with his uh, wife, Ruth, and I'd like for them to stand and be recognized, if you would. Billy.
Christ us this morning. Um, another of Merle's uh, siblings is here. Um, she's the boss, I think, of the family. At least that's what she told me a couple of years ago. Uh, we're happy today, and I'd like to give a round of applause to uh, Merle Travis's sister, Veda Adler. Veda, could you stand for us?
dignitaries here today. Uh, but uh, this lady is very, very sweet and very special uh, to anybody who knows anything about the guitar or anything about Western Kentucky. We are really delighted to have today uh, uh, Miss Laverta Rager, Mose Rager's widow, and uh, would she stand? Laverta, would you please stand?
uh, for the contestants and uh, offer up some special music. So uh, we're going to have them head over this way and start uh, getting set up. And while they do, uh, some other people that I'd like to uh, recognize. Uh, we've got some legendary guitar players and musicians here as well. Uh, as a lot of other dignitaries, and I'd be amiss if I didn't recognize uh, as many as I can find to recognize. Uh, we are very honored today to have uh, what I consider a legendary guitar player, and many as well, and that is uh, uh, Spider Rich.
still that frame. <clears throat> Nothing we can do about it.
today's contest. If you're interested in inquiring about those, uh, check with the ladies over at the registration booth before you leave today. Thanks for the contest today. Okay, uh, contestant number seven will be next. Contestant number seven will be playing Windy and Warm, going down the road feeling bad, and the Oklahoma Hills where I was born. Contestant number seven.
Okay, can I have your attention again, please? Uh, the judges in the back have, uh, have asked that we quiet down again. Uh, they have a little trouble hearing the contestant, second cousin Claude. Uh, Claude Travis and his wife Mary are here, both from Greenville. And uh, boy, he just does so much, both of them do so much to promote uh, finger picking and the uh, legend of the Western Kentucky guitar players and so forth. And I'm just really thrilled that they're here. And Claude, hold your hand up so we can say howdy. Let's hear it for Claude. Where is Eddie? Right, I'll catch you on the next one. That's number eight. Well, eight will be playing Sleep, I Love You So Much, and Rose Time. Contestant number eight.
Change of Game Plays. Are you ready? Next we have contestant number nine. And I would ask you to refrain from talking if you could. The contestant number nine will be playing Rose Time, Chica Verde, and Rock by Rag. Contestant number nine.
thumb picking and finger picking than any single person in the state of Kentucky in the last five or six years, and he's a very special guy. And I said, surely I can find him. Eddie Pennington, where is Eddie?
judges are retabulating their votes over the next few minutes, and we'll have five finalists. The five finalists then will return, and each do three numbers uh, to select the winner. Uh, in between, while the judges are tabulating, we're going to have some very special music uh, today, and so we're going to be getting set up for that. Cal and Anthony, Cal and Kelly, and I'll get this one. redone down at Ebenezer, which is right outside of Rexpo. There'll be a, special, a lot of special music and special comments and so forth in dedication of this monument to a very special man. One other thing I'd like to mention, uh, we have uh, a fellow by the name of Philbert Bowers, who has recently been ill and was recently out of the hospital. He was a big buddy of Merle's and Moe's and uh, played a lot of guitar with them and we want to wish him Get well wishes and hope that he will get well soon. Go for the And we're going to get set up for our next act. Um, just for a second, since I'm the quiet one here, wouldn't you like to say thank you to all the people who have worked so hard to put this entertainment on? The whole whole city get together and put together something else. Everybody works at it. Everybody's very involved. That's really great. Thank you. Okay. Uh, not many people have uh, come from a greater distance than our next uh, special guest. Uh, we first met uh, Cal and Andy. Cal and Andy. Yeah. Alan, Alan, Kathy, uh, Bain, over in Mountain View, Arkansas, at the uh, annual Merle Travis uh, celebration. Uh, you're in for a real special treat as uh, uh, they are great entertainers and uh, have a special affection for the fingerstyle music, the thumbstyle music of this part of the country, and I'll let them say what they want to say. Let's have a special uh, round of applause for Alan and Kathy Bain. Thank you, Larry. We've, we've had a great time since we've been going out to Mountain View. This is our first time down here, and I hope it won't be our last. And we uh, watched everybody competing today. People say, you know, how come we don't compete? And after listening to this group, uh, I know exactly why. I hope none of them start singing. <laughs> this is not a, an especially a finger style thing to start off with, but it kind of made me think of this. Uh, everybody been practicing and wearing their fingers right down at the bone. Coming down and the roof on the border. I lost my job and I feel a little older. Car won't start and our love's grown colder. Baby things will get a little better in the morning. Baby things will get a little better. Clothes need washing and the fire won't start. Kids are all crying and you're breaking my heart. Old doctor needs calling home. Baby things will get a little better in the morning. Baby things will get a little better.
These guys, it takes an awful lot of guts to come out from behind here and play a guitar for a room tool like this. So I really like it. Critics. Critics, yeah. <laughs> and I, John, I'm going to take it church and see the dedication. That would be a really special time for all of us. And probably this next one we should send to John. And uh, John likes that, but he kisses me, which works out just well. I'm glad he doesn't get that switched around. <laughs>
believe it, I One of the things you might be uh, interested in, over on the wall, on this side are some newspaper clippings from the uh, original monument dedication, which was back in 1956. Got a picture of Pat.
I just really can't believe he's here to pick and sing for us. I met uh, this fellow last year for the first time over at Mountain View when he graciously came over and played for us. Those of you who've got a radio have heard him a million times, I know, on the Grand Ole Opry. And uh, it's just a real thrill to have uh, him here today. Let me introduce just Billy Grammer. Sing with me. That's what I want. 
You folks, uh, well, we didn't get want to use the Who was up little boy's room and the ladies' room back there. Be quiet while you're going. I don't know whether he meant be quiet as you was going or be quiet when you was in there. Oh. Oh. I know one thing, it gets noisy around our house sometimes. Huh? Let me know you're old, okay?
but uh, I've reached the 66 mark and I feel good. If it wasn't for my eyes, why well, I'd be tripping the light fantastic out there, baby. You know, it's good. But we never know, do we? Here's a song for you, okay?
Elder Ron and my Old Kentucky home. Contestant number two.
All right, next we have contestant number three. Contestant number three will be playing bugle call rag, rose time, and guitar rag. Contestant number three.
uh, he's been a, a good inspiration for me and uh, showed me a lot. I stole a guitar licks off everybody. <laughs> and he's one of the best to steal from because he didn't care. I'm going to do one tune sort of as a farewell and a, as a closing tune. My favorite tune in the world. And uh, you have to bear with my singing also as I'm the same. He walks by slightly bent forward with his hands clasped behind his back. He's a coal miner. You couldn't guess his age. He may be 30, but appear to be 50. He's a coal miner. He neither loves nor hates his work. He spent endless hours under the feet beneath the earth as he toils in the dark, dangerous dampness. He awaits another view of daylight. Now he'll follow this cycle until his mortal life is spent, and then he'll wait for the eons to change him to the cold he's faced all the days of his adult life. Perhaps in another age, someone will ironically refer to his remains as black gold, for he too will be a cold one.
compromise and do it again. <laughs> so, all right, we should be ready for the uh, final announcement. We'll get everybody outside. A couple of things Rodney wanted me to say. The bus is leaving at 1.30 or 2? Between 1.30 and 2. Between 1.30 and 2. And uh, it's going to come back here after the uh, monument celebration. It won't be coming to the festival, it'll be coming here. So you have to make arrangements from here over to the festival. Just need just one more minute to finish up. So we got a special treat. We got last year's champion here to play for you, Paul Mosley. So we're going to get him out of the picture. Let's hear the ball.
But if you were here the first year, this probably feels cool to you because we were out in the sun the first year and it was about 102 degrees. So we appreciate if you're here the first year. So we apologize. Maybe next year we'll have it off the cooler. Uh, I want to thank a lot of people. Of course, I want to thank Doc. I want to enjoy him for coming in and being seen, of course. Second place goes to Bob Saxton. 